Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 20 of Resurgence with AC Milan. It is Super Copper final day as we take on Inter Milan in the game between the cup winners and the league champions. We've also got a couple of transfers to talk about as well as some games to review. So if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Also, don't forget I'm a member of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord servers is in the description. Let's get to the transfers first of all, shall we? And we start with a departure, and that is Mattia Caldara. He has joined Newcastle for £5 million. He was very much surplus to requirements with us, so I allowed him to move to England and to Newcastle. Coming in is not a centre-half. Coming in is Corentin Taliso has joined us on loan from Bayern Munich for the rest of the season. We needed another midfield player. We've been losing a few to injuries. Benatur, incidentally, has gone to the African Cup of Nations, as has Nicolas Pepe, so we are being left a bit short in the wide position and in midfield. So Taliso is there to fill the gap. Moving on to the results we've had since we were last together and following the match with Juventus, we beat Perugia by three goals to nil. Nicolas Pepe and Diego Lanes doing the damage in this one. We followed that up with an amazing three-all draw with Fiorentina. We were two goals down in this one with Wolf and Cadet Breck scoring for Fiorentina. Dusan Valovic pulled a goal back on 67. Hyunmin Sun completed the comeback on 74, only for Kurtron to put Fiorentina back in front. As you can see, Dusan Valovic coming up with a penalty in the dying seconds to give us a priceless point against Fiorentina. And last time out, we saw safe passage through to the next round of the TIM Cup. Dusan Valovic with two goals, Diego Lanes with one, as we beat Livorno by three goals to nil. So on to the competition screen we go. No, you are not seeing double on the far side. We play Inter in the quarterfinals of the TIM Cup, as well as taking them on today in the Super Copper Final. The Europa League we've already discussed. We come back for Celta Vigo next month. In Serie A, we have lost the lead at the top. Inter lead the way now on 45. We are tucked in just behind on 44. Then come Frosino on 40, having a tremendous season. Lazio on 39, Juventus on 38, Napoli on 37, Atalanta and Roma just outside on 33. Down at the bottom of the table, where poor old pressure are still on single figures, but they're up to five now. Perugia have 11, Bologna have 15, Calgary have 16, Spal have 17. And the rest are fairly comfortable in mid-table. So it is the Super Copper final. We concentrate on the league champions taking on us, the cup winners. Let's take a look at the two starting lineups. Taking a look at the match preview. So it's not only us that have lost a couple of players to the African Cup of Nations. Inter have lost their goalie and Alex Iwobi. That is superb news. Alex Iwobi has been tearing us apart in the league game so far. But we do have some more problems. Bogus is suspended. Olsen is out, as is Theo Hernandez to add to a growing list of problems for us. But they do still have a strong lineup to Inter Milan. They start with Ravicio in goal, Pereira, Faro, Wuba, Anana, Aranan, Arena, Carrera, Barella, Eriksen, Bakilo, Eduard with Salcedo alongside him. We start with Ramsdale in goal, Bayer, Batella, Romagoli, Tierney, Beltran, Taliso is straight into the starting 11, Lanes, is on the right-hand side. Santos, Sun with Valovic up front. I don't even think Taliso's had a training session with us. He has been here literally 24 hours, but he is straight into the starting 11 because we have nobody else to play there. Obviously, with Bogas being suspended, Benature's away, so needs must for Taliso. They're on a six-match unbeaten runner Inter. Hopefully, we are going to end that today in the Super Copper Final. Can we pick up a win over Inter Milan? Let's find out, shall we? So, corner kick. Bakilo is going to take it. There are bodies in the box for Inter. As Wuba gets up, Ramsdale with a save. Barella into Eriksen, onto Bakilo. Got to go towards him if you can. Patella's coming across. He's still going. And he's fallen to Edouard. It's saved by Ramsdale. Pereira, Faro, playing about with it. And Lanes has picked it up on that right-hand side. 
Tolisso's first real touch for us. Beltran. He's got Santos in front of him if he can find him. He's going wide looking towards Kieran Tierney. Will he find a ball into the middle? He will do so. Valovic gets up and it's into the back of the net. Lovely, neat little head of that from Valovic. And we lead by a goal to nil. Probably against the run of play, you might say. But if you don't take your chances in football, they do come back to bite you in the arse. As we have found out on more than one occasion. But Kieran Tierney with a ball into the box. Valovic with a little flick. Bleating all the defenders. 1-0. Diego Lanes has picked up a knock. Please, no, we are running out of wide players. Christian Eriksen has picked up a knock as well, so Inter are having a few problems. Ball into the box. Salcedo heads towards goal. Ramsdale with the save. And that is half-time. Dusan Valovic goal gives us the lead at the break. More of the same, please. Inter missing chances, us taking them. What could be better? Eriksen is off at half-time. Sanderberg is on. Free kick. Nuno Santos is going to take it. For about 25 yards out, puts it wide. Richarlison is on for Edouard. It's a free kick. Santos will take it towards the far post. Valovic gets up and he's headed it wide. Unlucky. Is it tipped behind for a corner? It has been. It's a good save from the goalie then. They've got the officials behind the goal. I thought they'd abolished all that. I thought it was technology had taken control. Obviously not. Playing it over the top, looking for lanes. He is in behind, but he's on the wrong foot. He plays it with his left foot, though, towards the far post. Sun heads over the bar. Right. Let's have a look at a change, shall we? Tolisso's tank is probably near enough empty. Yeah, he's, whilst he's playing all right, let's get him off. And let's bring Bresciani on. Bakilo with the corner, swung in towards the middle. Bayer heads it away. Berg picks it up. Plays it towards the edge of the box. Barella with the shot and into the bottom corner. It's his first goal of the season. Why does he not score more goals than that? That was a beautiful effort. And into our level on 68 minutes. Fans, we do the first bit right. You clear your lines, but you don't not close people down. That is criminal on the edge of the box. Goes through a sea of bodies. Ramsdale, no chance at all. 1-1. One, one. We're going to have a switch round in the wide positions. Let's move Human Sun over to the right-hand side. See if that works any better. Played over the top, looking for Bakilo. Sun is with him, though. The two number sevens colliding. Sun with a good tackle. Stop the corner. Why did you not stop it? Anthony is on for Carrera. In to have another set piece coming. Bakilo is going to take it once more. Swung in towards the middle. Tries to get up. Did Wuba, but Bresciani heads it away. Salcedo picks it up and it's blocked out by Beltran. And he is on the chase. Free kick. Santos will take it. Swung in towards the far post. Batella tries to get up. Anthony picks up the loose ball. And now we are chasing back because it is two on two. Barella's coming through the middle. It's a good tackle from Bresciani, to be fair. But Fraro is headed on to Cecilo. Barella playing it wide to Bakilo. Got to stop him of Bayer. No, didn't need to. Let's take a look at a substitution with a couple of minutes left to play. So Lanes is going to come off. We do have options to play the left-hand side. So Meta is coming on. And it's a free kick. Bakilo has brought down Hyunmin Sun. Chance to send the ball into the box in the last couple of minutes. Nuno Santos is over the ball. There are seven Milan players on the edge of the Inter box. Can he find one of them? Romagoli looks like the man who's going to get up, and he has! What a header! What a header! 87 minutes gone. Milan take the lead once more. It's a beautiful cross into the box. He rises like a salmon, does Romagoli. 2-1. Barella tries to turn it around the corner, looking for Pereira. Meta's with him. Keep with him, kid. Doing very well at the moment. Good tackle as well. Looking for Pereira. Meta's brought him down this time. Not the way to do it. In to have a free kick in the wide position. Almost like a corner for them. Can we defend it? Bakilo sends the ball back towards Barella. He might shoot once more. He has done. And it's gone in. VAR are going to have a look at it. Why have you got the men behind the goal if you're looking at VAR? Our Nana has touched it in. Did he have to? Was Barella's shot going in on its own? He's miles offside, but obviously he's in line with the goalkeeper. VAR has correctly ruled it out, and we are into four additional minutes. And then he sends it down the field, looking for Dusan Vanovic. He's touched inside. Pereira, he's through on goal. Will he finish it? Will he finish it? Yes, he will. What a goal. 3-1, game, set, and match. Thank you very much for coming into Milan.
It's a long ball down the field. It's a good kick from Ramsdale, though. Lovely first touch, takes him beyond Pereira. Closes down on the goalkeeper, slots it in the corner, 3-1. We were into Faro. They're going to need a minor miracle to get this one back now. Inter just goes to show. Alex Uwobi does make a difference. Bakila goes to the shot from distance. Ramsdale with a catch. Trying to mount a late charge. Uh, Inter Milan with a long ball down the middle. Salcedo picks it up. And it's gone into the net for 3-2. Shouldn't have beaten Ramsdale from that sort of angle. But then I think Batella should have done better myself. It's a long, hopeful ball over the top. Who knew they worked? In behind, Batella should make the tackle. Should try and slide across at least. 3-2 into the last minute. Are we going to see late drama once more? No, it's been knocked out of play. It's another free kick. Bakilo's going to knock it into Pereira. Will he try and send it into the box from a different angle? Yes, he will. Go out to him. Headed away if someone can get it. Tierney gets up. Faro is there trying to collect it. We are over time, Mr. Referee. Blow the goddamn whistle. Sun has it. Hack it down the field or run with it. That might be a better option. As he is coming down the field, Hyunmin Sun. Referee is probably looking at his watch. He has played more than time needed. Berg is about to go. Lovely end to the game. If he's not given a second yellow card, I will be very surprised. There is the second yellow. There is the red one to go with it. Inter are going to finish the game with 10. Santos sends the ball into the middle. Romagoli heads over the bar. That will do you. And Arno, Inter and Anthony. Come on, see this out. Anthony swings the ball into the middle. Picked up on the edge of the box. No, it's not. Santos hacks it down the field. And that is your lot. The Super Copper is ours. There's me at the front. Yes. Yes. Well done. Yes. What a game. 3-2 in the end. It all came to life in the last six or seven minutes of the game, didn't it? See the sending off as well. So we don't need to look at the league table. We just need to pat ourselves on the back for a win over Inter. And could that prove significant going forward? Obviously, mind games, isn't it? It's all about the psychological edge and beating Inter Milan, given that they've not beaten us so far this season, that could prove quite significant in its own little way. It's another trophy in the cabinet as well, which is always good to see and a great game to boot. So I'm more than happy with that. Two goals from Dusan Valovic, one from Romagoli. Lovely job indeed. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but like to do so, please hit the subscribe button down the corner. Don't forget, if you've got any comments to make on today's video, please leave them below. Also, don't forget, I'm a member of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord servers is in the description. The Super Copper is ours. You love to see it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye.